What are artists making? Um, I am okay, wearing... Okay, so the hat is black What's and colors. Okay, you must like Hey, and what's your name? Cash. <laughs> what's up? Okay, man. Nice to meet you. Amazing outfit, by the Thank way. You, Thank and you. what are you wearing? It's very awesome. So today, I got my little outfit on. You know, some regular denim, some regular boots from my, wow. my star piece of my outfit. It's my favorite jacket. And you made it. Yes. Incredible. Yes. And you're an artist. Yes. Uh, what kind of artist would you say? So I would call myself a designer. Um, nice. I started design clothing early this year, but I've been putting my heart and soul into it. And every day I'm learning something new, trial and error, making a bunch of mistakes, but more importantly, learning from my mistakes and Very nice. having a blast while I can. And can we check out your art studio? Yeah, yeah absolutely. Let's, come on in. Let's go. All right. So, welcome to my crib. Let's Hello. go. It's a little tight, but. Nah, it's cool. You know, home is home. I know that rent is good. Is pretty cheap. <laughs> kind of USD is. I'm not gonna, stop. I'm not gonna lie, it's, it's cheap, it's cheap. So, let's go. Let's okay, go. I got a little washing machine here, I got my fridge here. Awesome, awesome. I'm not gonna lie, they got me messed up. I got one gas burner, but <laughs> you can... it's it's all good. I prefer two. Word, word. And yeah, like uh, I would just love to see like what's inspiring you, like in yeah, your yeah. spot too, as, as an artist. So, too. um. I just got here a few months ago, so I've just been settling in this apartment. But nice. back when I'm at home, like in my room, it's so flashy. I got so many anime posters everywhere. And right. even though I'm missing a lot of anime posters, I try to make do with what I have. Nice. A little anime posters right there. This one's cool. Usada Pekora. My favorite. Nice. My favorite. I'm An NBA young boy. <laughs> you NBA young boy. Anime character. <laughs> he, he monks one name. <laughs> top five. <laughs> top, top five. Yeah. And then my favorite, actually, I saw up here. This is from, uh, is it Bochi the Rock? Bochi the Rock. Best. Amazing the anime. Best anime. The best, literally. It's like, uh, I don't even know how to describe it, like a rock, uh, like a rock yeah. star student who's yeah. trying to like beat her anxiety. Mm -hmm. That's just fine. I think everybody with social anxiety should give it a try and watch it. Such a heartfelt story. Very cool. But, and uh, yeah, and then we have like what you're working on too. Yeah, on your computer. yeah, absolutely. This is very fire. So it's um, this item, the bomber that I was making, I got the sample wins. Everything's looking great. Just gotta move on to manufacturing production itself. But Word. you know, I do all my designs on my computer. Mm. Um, Adobe Illustrator, shout out Adobe Illustrator. And Word. basically around it, um, just okay. kind of started creating like almost like last year and then just Every day I'm trying to learn something new, whether it's uh, from other people or by myself. And awesome. it's trial and error. You're gonna make a million mistakes, but at the end of the day, what's the most important is what are you learn from or not. Word, I agree. Uh, secondly, uh, like when did you first get started as an artist? That's a great question. Um, I think in all reality, I started like earlier this year. Um, mm. That's like one of the biggest reasons why I wanted to come out to mm. Japan. Because mm. um, I'm coming from New York City, and don't get me wrong, the scene is beautiful. Like. Mm. It's just so much going on. It's it's so awesome. It's overwhelming sometimes. But Agreed. I just wanted to try something new. So I felt as a half Japanese person, Tokyo's a place to be. Um, definitely. I definitely tried to knock down like I was making clothing before, like this year. But it was just like those times where I started a few months and I was going crazy. And I was like, oh dang, like I got, got caught up in school or working. But now full fledged, putting all my whole heart into it. Love that. I love that. And that's very inspiring too. And yeah, I totally agree. Like, I feel like uh, a lot of people in uh, New York don't really know like about like a lot of the, at least in my opinion, like the inspiring like benefits of, of Tokyo in my yeah, opinion. Yeah, yeah, absolutely, so, absolutely. I, yeah, I, I'm not, I can't, I, for myself, I can't really just like recommend everybody be like, yo, move out, let's yeah, go, yeah. go here. It's, but, it's hard, it's yeah. hard to move to a new country, especially with new language. And I think the most beautiful part it's just because like people from New York, in many ways, they take inspiration from people in Tokyo, whether it be the scene, mm. the way people dress, just the way people move. Because like, mm -hmm. people are always going to be like, oh, T Tokyo is so cool, mm -hmm. um, revolutionary. But at the same time, people from Tokyo, they're always saying about New York, like, damn, if I could live in New York one day, that would be a dream. Like people from New York, like, everything, it's, it's a cycle, you know what I'm saying? When we eat off of New York, I hope that like New York takes its from like Tokyo. You feel me? Facts. And we got some pieces from you. Very excited for this. So, oh. my recent creation. So it's basically, um, this looks crazy. It's like a leopard, it's a leopard button up jacket. So, um, one thing that I really was inspired by was mm -hmm. just like, 
kind of like military clothing essentially mm -hmm. so basically it has a bomb um a hood like one of those like flag hoods wow. um it's detachable but the coolest part about this mm -hmm. item is just like you could just un oh, undo wow. this and then you could just mix it into like a cool mask so when you wear it when mm -hmm. you put the mask on yes um basically the only thing you see is like uh, your eyes so it's your mouth yeah. is covering everything so it's kind of like gives like that cool militia yes vibes like no, that's something incredible. like this so I feel like um, sourcing good fabric was probably like half the game. Just because mm -hmm. like a great garment, like you can have great design, but if the fabric itself it isn't correct, it's just, mm -hmm. it bites into like a lot of things, like the silhouette of the item, and just kind of like the overall feel, mm -hmm. functionality of it. And just, you gotta make sure you come correct with the fabric and whatnot. You heard it here first, come mm -hmm. correct with the fabric. Yeah, yeah. Absolutely. Good. Militia jacket. So it's um this is one third of my capsule collection that I'm trying to go forward with. Um, nice. From New York to Tokyo, I'm putting my whole heart into it. Let's go. And now we got number two. Number two, number two third of my capsule collection. Very cool. Uh, so it's basically a bomber. It's a pretty heavy winter bomber. But mm. the thing that I made different about this bomber is just it has like a football, American football jersey on top of it. So it's kind of like experimenting with dock, uh, docking and layering. So, mm. so it gives the illusion that like. Oh, it's like a football jersey on top of a bomber. That's so I love very the color cool. pink. Nine. Um, no exact meaning, but my <laughs> favorite baseball athlete, Aaron Judge. Shout out Aaron Judge. So I feel like the thing I'm trying to aim for with my capsule collection is just more so like the uttermost like juxtaposition like of many random things like colliding at once. Like mm -hmm. so like I got Aaron Judge reference ninety nine, but on the back it say Inso. Um, <laughs> just cool. That's very more cool. so out of like pure irony you know what i'm saying like yeah. nothing something that i truly believe is nothing's supposed to be taken seriously like it's at the end of the day if it's not fun if you're not having fun i just think that 1000 yeah i actually saw uh this piece on instagram you were like previewing it yeah and yeah that's kind of what made me go like man i gotta hit this guy up man like he'd be killing it Thank this you. is very it's cool very I'm I'm definitely going. Guys. I'm definitely going to want to cop this because, yeah. like, I'm. I feel like I don't. I, I, well, maybe I hope I don't, but I don't. I don't think I give off insult. <laughs> no, no. I, that's, but I would rock it. You that's know, that's the other yes. juxtaposition because, like, yes. you be walking down the street and then yeah, you think like, what the hell is this dude walking around with an <laughs> insult bomber? But he's fly though. Like, Word. that shit don't make no sense. <laughs> so, and then we have piece number three. I love this as well. When I walked in, I thought that was like very awesome. Mm -hmm. It's giving like pixel art vibes and almost. A little front in the back. The, the folks on the front are a little different from the back. Oh, so. I didn't even peep. Wow. Hello. We got a little baby. We got an Asian woman. We got a white woman. Black <laughs> man. Got <Yeah>. everybody. Inclusivity. <laughs> nice. And uh, it says call five 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 Think five. Think five. What's so, uh, the story behind that? Think yeah. five is actually, it's um my folks, Joey and Rio. We're working on mm. our brand together. That's. Honestly speaking, that's the main reason why I'm in Japan because wow. I was last year in America. I was like, damn, I was talking to my friend Joe. I was like, dude, mm -hmm. I want a new life. And he's like, I moved to Japan. And I'm like, I'm like wow. I never thought about that, right? Yo, yeah. that's that's actually very impactful. That's that's like right? such a... So crazy what yeah. one text message can do. Right. So um, this is just like one of these bags we're planning to give out uh, just part of, as our rollout on Think5 that we're working towards. But yeah. give a little... It's something to do with like, our first time is going to be something to do with like a polo shirt and mm -hmm. it's going to be crazy. That's very so, cool. Just keep uh, Think 5 on the way. Japanese culture, we're all just a bunch of, um, I'm half Japanese, he's half mm -hmm. Japanese and one Japanese kid that lived in Australia his whole mm -hmm. life and we're just trying to really turn up for the culture outside of Japan. Very cool, man. I love it. And what inspires or who even uh, your work the most? Uh, I don't even know where to start, but I'm gonna make it compact. Um, shout out to both of my parents. My parents are both creatives. My dad is the first Chinese American jazz band leader in America. Wow. He's doing his thing. And my mom, uh, she's a fashion designer too. And I really, like growing up, I feel like they always told me as an artist, you're always gonna have your ups, your downs, and your mids. But like, sometimes when the downs, it gets hard, but, and they always told me like, you know, maybe there's not a lot of money in the air for us, but we're following our heart. and we're happy and I will every day when I wake up I always think about those so um one day I want to collaborate with my own mother making clothing mm. with her gotta get that shit popping 
Um, shout out to my my anime convention friends, my cosplay friends there. I love them so much because like they really taught me how to be like <coughs> like not insecure and like just like follow your heart and stuff because we just be cringe as hell at anime conventions having the time of our lives and just shows me <laughs> like they're not insecure, you know what I'm saying? Like they're just following their heart, they're having fun, like who cares? If it's weird, as long as you're being yourself, and shout out all my people, Six, Radical, Danny, New York. Um, we're just young kids that are hungry, and we just want more. We just want the most out of life, and Joy and Rio, my ja Japan division, those top two hustlers. So that's what I'm talking about. Well, shout out to family and friends, Literally. and getting the most out of life. That's Absolutely. super inspiring, man. Live, laugh, thank count. you, thank you so much, man. Killing. What's your name? Keiji Masaki. Nice to meet you, and this is a fire outfit, by the way. And are you an artist? I am an artist. Shout out to that. What kind of artist would you say? Uh, just like garment design and stuff. I'm trying to get into some DJ work right now and uh, open some other stuff. In the future. Very nice. And you made this jacket. Yes, sir. Incredible. Can we check out more of your fits? Yes, please. Let's do it. Now we have outfit number one. This is incredible. Wow. This is basic white tee with the I don't even know what to call this, but it's so layered. This is like pure Japanese layering fashion. This is incredible. Can you tell me about this? This is, you made it. Yeah, so this I made at the Bunka three-day seminar. So they had like a little three-day seminar event going. And uh, like each day you do like a different thing. So this one was a, a remake class. So like you use like, like old pieces and like make something new out of it essentially. So, wow. Would you call it a skirt? Or a hybrid skirt. Hy it's like a hybrid like skirt. A skirt top with like a dress bottom, so very tight. And yeah, once again, like uh what inspired you to make this particular piece? Rocky's Met Gala. So like mm. when I seen that, I had another piece that I made too, but just like the whole little skirt vibe was really right. just came from that Met Gala. So I was just like, oh that shit hard. So Dope. I tried to put my own little spin on it, you know, with a double layering. Mm -hmm. And uh, the dress shirts are just like, because they had like a whole bunch of these, so I just wanted to incorporate it for Word. the repurposed kind of theme mm -hmm. for the class. I know it maybe you didn't have to have a grade for this or something, but like, yo, A plus, <laughs> killing it. And now we have the kimchi in outfit number, I forgot the number, but it's okay. And uh, this is incredible, and you made this as well. Yes. And could you tell me more about this piece? So this one came from inspiration from uh, Young Thug Stoner music video. Yeah, <laughs> not, I'm a stoner, not exactly I'm like stoner. Oh, yeah, sorry. Yeah, no, you can, I'm a stoner. But it's kind of like yeah, one of these kind of like drapey looking things on with like some distress. This is actually a double sided, but uh, that's where the inspiration came from. This one. That's very cool that you gave that context because I always like listen to and watch that music video. It's like shot in Atlanta. He's in like grassy, like uh, like mansion type vibe. And uh, yeah, like Young Thug has like these like long thin arms and it's kind of giving that right here too. I mean, you're pretty strong. So like, it, it, oh, you know, you're good. <laughs> but these sleeves are really cool. I love that the way. Crazy. God, this is very awesome. It's like a little double layer. It's another side to it, but. Uh, mm, I see. Yeah, this is damn. Cool. This is damn. All right, new man out here. I can't even recognize you. Look at this. Look at this. And yo, amazing. I love the extended sleeves right here. I guess they're not considered extended sleeves. This is like a double sleeve, like double sleeve, fucking abstract double sleeve. I guess. Incredible. What was inspiring you when you were making this particular piece? So the back wear is kind of like t-shirt on the back. It was uh, from the undercover like hybrid, the uh, hybrid collaboration that's got like the front and back panel. Mm -hmm. And then the sleeves came from like, a little bit of that more inspiration. Like they, they got a little abstract one as well, but that's kind of a little bit different. I just put my own twist to it. I love it. And it goes amazing with this hoodie as well all part of one piece. And we're rocking the full fit of KJ. This is very awesome. I love the print. This is amazing. The sleeves are so comfortable as well. And they go really well with uh, your friend's pants. And uh, you said your friend from LA made them. Shout out Anisha. And yeah, I'm just, I'm obviously wearing the Sandy Lee Solomons as well again. Uh, but 
they go well with so many of like pants that I you know often wear so this is really cool thank you and then uh we want to just like do a breakdown of this as well one more time so can you tell us about this jacket this is amazing so this is a barren jacket collab with my friend in Atlanta uh Banish so Banish Masaki hey, jacket uh this hat I just need to do a little put the little buns and stuff kind of distressed it myself amazing pants are just uh undercover sweats and the shoes the shoes are just the jelly it's very nice the pink jelly and back to the jacket uh what inspired this particular jacket it's got a lot of like symbolism on it one shot one kill embrace the suck if i tell you i have to kill you like <laughs> i'd love to hear uh you know what inspired you or like what you know what you were doing when you were working on it um so this you. this jacket actually nothing really that deep just mm. uh my friend Hassan came to me just said, yo, I got some patches, I, I, mm. need, I need you to just sew it on for me. Like, mm. So he just gave me the jacket, gave me the patches, and I basically just made it, like constructed it. That's so, dope, that's really dope. Too much story for the creative process on this one though. Nah, but it's awesome, and your friend has some cool, like, I guess he just had some really cool, like, pieces that kind of all have these, you know, mantras on them. So, latex allergy, that's hilarious. <laughs> That's actually like the lightest one out of all of them. And uh, now we have this second fit, incredible tee with the pocket on the side, the jean pocket, and the pants off the chain. They're actually backwards, backwards Levi's reconstructed. This is incredible. What made you choose to, one, make the pants backwards, and then two, like applying this amazing pocket on the shirt? I'd love to hear it all. So the pants, it's just like the um, other shirt. It came from uh, the Undercover Hybrid collaboration, except I kind of just pasted it on the front. Mm -hmm. But the reason I did the pants backwards is because like in Atlanta, like it started from a, a old group, I think Crisscross, mm -hmm. but they like wear their pants like backwards, to, like show like the front, uh, uh, the back of the jeans on the front. Wow. So it's kind of like, like that, like the back of the jeans are in the front mm -hmm. and it just got the Masaki symbol and uh, my favorite color actually, the Prussian blue. That's incredible. And then the shirt just matches it too. This is crazy. This was actually like the first shirt I think I ever made. Just like, really? Yeah, just like on some crazy patchwork shit. No, no really like inspiration for this one. Just mm -hmm. kind of just threw it together, I guess. Very cool. And then the back is even incredible too with these amazing print right here. And then a little piece of cloth right here as well. Very dope. All right, and now we're wearing this amazing fit as well. He made the shirt, he made the pants. The zippers are very cool as well. This is incredible. And once again, like, I feel like these Sandy Liangs just work for everything. They just make every pants just perfect job. Yeah, thank you so much, this is so cool. Um, the pockets are also fun as well. Um, front pockets instead of side pockets, I like that. Very nice. So, go now to this amazing fit as well similar pants the zippers incredible as well and this one's like uh it's pretty similar to the one i'm wearing but i love that you just have like multiple you know layered textures on top of each other uh, from that uh, frankenstein collection so like all the frankenstein pants you can uh, mix and match them so like wow zip and like if you want to switch up whichever you just put it on like that very cool and then once again amazing piece it's very goes goes very well with it we're trying to do like all extended sleeves because i'm a tall person so you know, <laughs> sleeves don't usually fit you know you know how that feels but uh, definitely like have like long arms you know right on the shirts and, and then once again the amazing uh, front pockets as well instead of side pockets and thank y'all both shout out to kimchi shout out to kj this was very cool and then once again last question for you um for other people that want to become like a fashion designer like yourself up and coming one emerging one a very awesome one uh what would you tell them one thing i would say is just life is just what you make it so right. if you want to be something just put in the work to actually be that you know definitely shout out to that perfect answer man thank you so much have a nice day perfect <laughs>